Hello, everyone. It's great to see you all again. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us and continuing on with our meditations for 2022. My name is Demi Mohammed. I'm the program assistant at the Freer Gallery of Art. And we thank you for joining us for our art-based meditation session brought to you by the National Museum of Asian Art. Today's meditation will be led by Aparna, and we will focus on a stupa from the middle to the late 18th century China, specifically from the Xianlong reign of the Xing dynasty. Again, we thank you for joining us in the new year, and I'll pass it to Aparna to get us started. Thank you so much, Demi. Namaste, everybody, and a happy new year to all of you. We're so, so thrilled to kickstart this new year with this beautiful stupa that is going to serve as our inspiration in this meditation practice today. And as Demi shared, this art object takes us to the middle to late 18th century China. And without much ado, let me go ahead and share a picture of this beautiful work of art. And please do make sure that you can hear my voice clearly because seeing and hearing are the two senses that we're going to use throughout our practice today. Just to give you a sense of the size of this object, this is about two feet, a little taller than two feet. You can imagine how wide it could be. And if you're curious about all these details, you can check out the link that Demi has posted in the chat. And you can know a lot more factual information about this cloisonne stupa. Now let's temporarily pause the screen share and take a few moments to center our attention. You may close your eyes or lower your gaze. And if you just arrived, take your time, take the first few moments to arrive into this practice, to invite yourself, to invite your attention to coming along with the guidance in my voice. Notice where your thoughts are naturally gravitating towards. And as a way of arriving, you may just bring your thoughts back to the body and its presence where you are. And you can keep doing that as many times as you need to throughout this meditation that is coming back to being here, being now, by attuning to your body's presence. Notice where your body touches anything that's supporting it. Can we allow ourselves to ease into these points of contact? Like we're transferring the weight of the body to what's supporting the body at these points of contact. And then to further anchor our attention into the here and the now, we use the thread of the breath, taking a deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And if for any reason your body feels tension or stiffness, inhale to squeeze all the muscles at once. And let it go.
Now we'll do a brief body scan. Like we're consecrating each part of the body with our attention. Simply place your attention to your feet, the lower legs, the knees, the thighs, the hips and the feet. The lower back, the upper back, the shoulders, the chest and the waist, upper arms, elbows, forearms. The wrists and the hands, the neck, the head, and take a moment to just scan through the body from crown to feet, feet to crown, to become aware of the body's presence in the space where you are. From this place of slightly deeper awareness, slightly being more embodied than before, gently allow your eyes to open. Notice if you're reaching out, to what the eyes are seeing, instead relax and let right from what you're seeing, reach your eyes. And let's bring our vision, our gaze, to scan through this beautiful blue and gold work of art. First, we'll just observe whatever the eyes can see at this resolution. And if for any reason you would like to engage with this dupa on your own, feel free to link, click on the link that Demi has shared. If you'd like to come along with us, let's start by noticing the overall shape and form of this dupa. What are the details we are able to notice at this resolution? If you'd like to, you can start here at the base of the stupa. You see discs. Right in the center of this, we see steps. Steps leading us into some space which is mysterious and dark. Something that we could only imagine. And at the threshold of that space and the outside, this beautiful gilded portal. In the swollen part of the stupa. And all of this tapering out in the form of a spire. Again, the spire seems to be constructed of many, many rings. How many rings 
are we able to recognize? that is complete, let's once again zoom in to this central part of the stupa. And as we zoom in, what are the new details that our eyes are able to appreciate? What do we see around this door entrance? to the inside of the stupa. What could this creature be here? And what are the details we notice on this enameled or the cloisonne part of the stupa? Could there be a meaning to these symbols? And why is all of this mounted on a pedestal, which seems to have motifs like the petals of a lotus flower? What do these two golden knob-like structures here signify? Allow the mind to become curious. And let all of these questions be. Now let's try to understand and relate to this stupa from an intuitive and mindful experience. Let's start by bringing awareness to the form of this stupa. Just notice its outline. If you imagine the stupa as a two-dimensional flat object, what would its shape look like? Now for a moment, feel free to close your eyes or look away from the screen and try to trace the outline of the body. Imagine if you were sitting in a squat, what would the outline of your body look like? that position, what would the lower half of the body look like as it serves to be the foundation of your posture? Can we liken that to the broad circular base of the stupa? And as our attention rises up from the waist, noticing the chest space swell out. And all of that tapering up towards the crown. If we were to open our eyes and look at the spire and the different rings, 
Can we see a similarity with the vertebrae in our backbone? And the golden part of that spire, like the spinal cord, protected by these vertebrae, these rings. that spinal cord so full of the energy of the nervous system that it serves as a portal for us to reach higher and higher and find the highest version of ourselves. Just like the spire reaching tall and high. So just for the next five breaths, can we imagine that we're breathing from the spine, from the crown down to the base of the spine? Breathing out from the base of the spine through the crown. We imagine breathing up and down the spine. And then as we bring our gaze down to this turquoise blue swollen part of the stupa, we could liken it to the space of the chest. With this portal as a doorway to enter into our heart space. You feel like you may cross your hands over the chest just attuned to any sensations you notice here. Maybe the rise and fall of the chest as you breathe in and out. Or maybe attuning to anything that reminds you of your connections to the world. Anything that reminds you of loving kindness, of compassion. And for all those experiences carried in this heart space, we could imagine our senses to be like the portals that lead into this inner sanctum sanctorum, the heart space. So can we pay attention to each of the senses, one sense at a time? And we become aware of the sounds that the ears are hearing. We notice or visualize waves of sounds flowing through the ears into this body. And their vibrations felt as an experience in the heart space.
We bring awareness to any odors, maybe fragrances that our nose can smell. Can we notice these smells invoking thoughts, memories, all of which is shaping our inner experience right now? Can we notice any sensations of taste? Any sensations through the eyes? Sensations of the eyes are open as light reaches the eyes. And if the eyes are closed, sensations inside the eyes, behind the eyelids, any after images. sensations all along the skin, around the body. What is how all of that energy, all of that information flowing through these portals, shaping the inner landscape of the body. All that the stupa of the body encloses within. All of this experience founded on the basis of the breath, bringing in the life force, an energy that we may visualize as the light within. Can we visualize our entire body filled with this energy of life? in the form of light. And as we awaken and attune to this light of life within, what does the word enlightenment mean to you? Feel free to open your eyes and now look at the stupa. How does this sacred space of the stupa relate to the sacred space that our own bodies are? Where do we see the steps leading us now? And how may we preserve that connection to the light within? By setting intentions, doing what truly matters, and also navigating life, doing what we need to do. We 
all the guardian forces of the universe support us in our endeavors this new year. It's like this guardian creature at the doorway to the stupa. May all beings be well. May all beings be free from disease. May all beings be blessed with the ability to see the positive in everything. May all beings be liberated from suffering. Peace be to all. Peace be to all. Peace be to all. The practice feels complete. We close by first bowing to the light within ourselves. We bow to the light of all the artists who may have created this artwork, this beautiful object. Allowed us to go inwards and seek the light from within, seek answers from within. May we bow to the light of all the teachings of yoga and the teachers through whom we receive them. And finally, may we bow to the light that shines through each one of us here in this practice today. Like we're saying, the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you all so very much for joining me in this intuitive exploration of this work of art. Once again, thank you so much for joining me in this meditation.